with this giant. I'm here today at a park that I've known that has a little creek that runs through it, but I just haven't fished it for whatever reason. I've known it's here my whole life. In fact, we had birthday parties here when I was a kid and stuff, so I've known this creek has been here for my whole life, but for whatever reason, I just have never fished it. But anyway, it is a small little creek, so I'm not sure about the bass population, but we'll see what we can find here at Raymond Russell Park. It's a rare day this year here in Texas. It's 80 degrees in late November. It's been a cold fall actually, so this is a really rare day to be 80 degrees. And as you can see, there's quite a bit of wind too. It's really starting to pick up now, so. If there's some bass in here, I should be able to get them to bite this top water on a day like today. If not, we may have to go something a little more finesse, but we'll see how the day plays out. Or the afternoon, I should say. It's just a quick little afternoon trip here I'm doing. It's already after 2 o'clock, so I've only got a few hours here to get it done. This might turn into a little micro bass fishing session with a Ned rig or something. That's all I'm seeing so far is a bunch of real small bass. I'm sure there's got to be at least a couple of better ones in here somewhere though. I did bring some hip waders today so that I could get in the water a little bit. Just like this deep right here. Just about my ankles are up to my knees maybe. So I can get the right angles. With all these sharp banks around it's pretty hard to get a cast between all these trees and stuff. So. These little hip waders are perfect for this kind of scenario. Oh, there's something right there. A little bass or a bluegill. I believe it was a little bass. Something right in the middle of the creek, right in the middle of the deepest part, right in the middle of the current too, though. So. Coming up to a bridge here, I'm not sure how far I've gone, I think probably a couple of miles, but it's actually been a little while since I've even seen a fish. I'm seeing less and less fish the further downstream I go, so I'm probably going to head back up towards the park here in just a second. Actually, I'm going to switch over to a wacky rig now and see if that makes a difference for whatever reason. I know it won't get hung up as much in the sludge as this Ned rig keeps doing. come off darn it dang it dang it dang it finally got one to eat and he jumps and comes off right after I set the hook that stinks Oh, 
what it that fish boiled on it it looked like he ate the whole thing he aggressively ate that it still missed him well i've made it down to the back side of the cemetery again i'm not exactly sure if it's legal to fish here or not i haven't seen any signs saying private property or to stop or anything so I don't know, I'm just going to claim ignorance if I get stopped by anybody because I really am ignorant of the law, I'm not, I don't know. But I don't think it should be a problem. It doesn't look like they're having any sort of services back here today or anything. This fish seems interested in my bait. Keeps looking at it, at least. Come on, fish, eat it. Looking right at it. Oop, did he eat it? Yep. No! How? How in the world do I keep missing this fish? stuck good one of the better fish I've seen in here too there we go not a big fish of course but for this little creek and the day I've been having I will definitely take that as a success and right in the snout right where you want to calm down little buddy fixing to let you go I just want to show you to the camera a little bit fat little sucker feature stud for sure gave me a nice little fight on this light tackle thanks for playing little buddy Oop, fish got it oh missed him dang it yeah, I see him. It's a real tiny bass. He's on it again. Oh, do you have it? Yep. <laughs> I got him. I got another one. This one's a real tiny guy. He was out there playing with my trick worm for a long time. Before he finally was able to get it in his mouth enough for me to hook him. But I got him. Just a little micro bass. Real healthy again though. These fish in here are gonna grow up to be pretty nice. Well, it's getting dark. Looks like I'm gonna have to get out of here. Almost all the water gone out of here somehow. In just a couple of weeks. I don't get it. Oh, look, look, look. There's a bass right here coming to look at us. See him right here? Look, there's a bass right here in front of us. Oh, there's two of them. Yeah, I see them. Oh, there's a little one looking at it. Oh, oh, dang it. I just had a little one eat my jig and he missed it. And I missed him. Yep, try to work it in front of him. Man. The little tiny ones keep eating my jig. And that it's too big for them to get their whole mouth on. You got one? Got him? Nice! Nice! Yeah! Yeah!
Nice. Oops, I just ran my head straight into a tree. Why did the guy yell? I got too excited. Ah. Nice, dude. Yes. Sweet. I'm glad somebody caught one. Oop, don't let him don't let him flop out. Look at his Perfect. fin. Look at his fin. It's going like. Oh. That's, that's awesome. That's look at the fin. Look. Though. Nice. He's going birdie, yep. in weird ways. Yep. Very pretty and very healthy. Can I throw it? Like a football. Wait. Let me see. I want to throw it like a football. Nice. That's pretty. Sweet, dude. Mm -hmm.